Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are, oh fuck, now I've got chewing gum. Ah, that's better. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a good Saturday. I uh, just finished up in the studio, it's now like four o'clock, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick video to tell you how my week's going. So, uh, let's go this way. <sighs> in my studio, oh, what's this? All right, let's go. Okay, I don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna turn this on. And I'm with you. So yeah, like I was saying, I've had a really good week this week, um, ever since my last vlog, uh, which was on like, I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Um, just a super fun week in the studio, kind of random, lots of different things going on. So since I last spoke to you guys, I've had Adam Worrell in the studio, who, who's, a, who's a great videographer. His company's called Portray Wedding Films. I'll leave a link below uh, so you can check his work out, but he's a super nice guy. We met at a wedding um, of a couple who we're now friends with, who funnily enough, I'm actually going out for lunch with on Saturday, Philip and Chris. Hi, Philip and Chris, uh, if you're watching. But I had him uh, in the studio on Wednesday, and basically I, I just got in touch with him, and, I, and uh, he'd seen that I'd been doing some videos, and uh, I got in touch, and I asked whether he could give me some pointers and see if I was doing anything wrong, if there was anything I could improve on when it came to like workflow and, and uh, how I'm actually producing the, um, the videos that I'm doing. I, I was just I was I was wondering if he could help me, and in uh, and in return, uh, I said I'd do some awesome headshots for him. So uh, and he was he was okay with that. So it was really nice to see Adam on Wednesday, and I really appreciate him. Uh, coming over to, to give me a, give me a bit of a hand with my my video when it was you know great to have him in the studio he did really well in his portraits as well I'll, uh, I'll leave a couple of images uh, in the video um, but yeah he, he, he was uh, it was super nice to see Adam and uh, you know he's got a wealth of knowledge behind him and he's uh, it, uh, you know I really like what he's doing I hope I get to work with Adam again uh, in the future uh, so that was that was great that was super good fun and then uh, Thursday we had our good friends uh, Kate and Dan uh, in the studio they've just had a lovely little baby Maisie uh, so we had those guys in the studio for a little uh, newborn shoot and Maisie was just a dream to photograph she pretty much slept the whole way through um, I got to take some pictures of Kate and Dan as well. Funnily enough, my, me and my, I'm Dan obviously, and my wife's called Kate, and so I, some of our best friends are, are called Kate and Dan as well, so it can get a little confusing. But it was really nice to see those guys and get them in the studio, and uh, I took up the opportunity to see if we can get a couple of pictures of me and my family, because I haven't had Harriet in the studio uh, since she was about five days old or something, so uh, obviously I've been taking pictures you know, on day-to-day -day life, but I haven't done anything in the studio, so it was really nice to get some shots with Harriet, uh, take some pictures with my wife and Harriet, and uh, I even got Dan to take a few pictures uh, of, of me and my wife and, and Harriet together as a family, so shout out to Dan, thank you so much, mate, you did a great job, I know he watches the videos and subscribes. Um, yeah, he did a great job there, so there's, there's always a job going here, Dan, if you uh, ever wanna change career. It's not often that I get to be on this side of the camera, when it comes to photography. And uh, I think it's quite nice actually to um, put yourself in that position every now and again, just to remember how your clients feel. Um, I try and be an empathetic photographer when I'm photographing um, my clients. And I always wanna put myself in their position uh, to make sure that you know whatever I'm asking them to do, I'd feel comfortable with. And how I approach um, the families and the people that I photograph, I wanna make sure that it's the way that I would like to be approached. So I think it's really healthy every now and again to get in on this side of the camera and kind of realize how the importance of, you know, the structure of a photo shoot, the interaction between the client and the photographer, instruction. Like, you know, it, like, I mean, I, you know, I, I try and keep my instruction uh, down, to, down to a minimal so I can keep them relaxed, but at the same time, just like completely shutting off, um, you know, is, uh, can be a little bit daunting and have like a little silent photo shoot. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was great to be put into that position and kind of be humbled a little bit. And anyway, I'm super happy with our photos that we got from the photo shoot. Um, I want to, uh, and big thanks to Kate, who obviously took a, a few pictures of, uh, of me and Harriet as well. They were brilliant. Uh, I actually think they're better than the ones that I took of Kate. So, sorry, Kate. Oh, uh, I've got a new light, which is lighting me now. Uh, it's a Niwa something or another. Uh, it, you know, I, I, I got it off a recommendation from a YouTube video. The last video that I did when I was talking about my Fuji equipment and the, the, the what's in my bag video, I was using one of my normal studio lights, which is a flash unit with a, just a tungsten uh, light bulb, and uh, they were so loud, and they didn't actually even kick up that much light. Um, so I thought, well, I'll invest in some uh, LED 
lights and see how they do before I, you know, really spend a lot of money. I'm actually thinking about moving and making a little bit of a switch to LED lights for my newborn photography. Uh, I've been thinking about that for a while. Um, the, the flash units that I use, the Elinchrom, uh, I use some old ones, they're like Style RX 600s. Uh, they're kind of old, but they're beasts. They're so powerful that I can't actually stop my lens down to anything like 2.8 or I'd get that nice shallow depth of field. I could use ND filters, but it's just a bit of a faff. So I've been toying with the idea of moving over to LED lighting for uh, my newborn clients. And also obviously having a, a constant light source takes away the need for flash. And um, flash doesn't bother my newborns for the most part, but um, it's definitely a, a thing to think about, uh, you know, when you're photographing newborns and they're just getting off to sleep and you pop off a flash and it kind of, sometimes it can jolt them a little bit and get them and, and wake them up a little bit. So uh, I think LED could be, uh, you know, a great contender for that. So um, that's on the cards for purchases for 2018 for sure. Uh, you may have also noticed that I've got a little microphone. Oh, am I actually recording? Damn. Just realised that I wasn't, I didn't press record on my phone when um, I was doing all of that intro. Uh, anyway, so frustrating. I've got a new microphone. Uh, you may have noticed it on my shirt. Um, so, so that was Thursday. Uh, great shoot with uh, Kate and Dan and their little girl Maisie. Um, and then I had another newborn shoot just with a, a client, and that was really good fun. Uh, she was a little bit older uh, than Maisie. She was four weeks old. The golden age for newborns is like one to two weeks, something like that. Um, I think that's a really nice age to get the newborns in. They're still really sleepy. Um, they're very sort of malleable uh, and, and they're, uh, you tend to find a little, it, the, the older they get, the more regular they are, the more, the less likely they are to, um, uh, to sort of sleep most of the way through. And, and for the most part, when, we're, when I'm shooting newborn shoots, um, I do kind of need them sleeping for maybe like 70% of the shoot just to do the pose stuff. Um, as well as getting some shots with their eyes open. Um, but for the most part, yeah, it, it's easier if they sleep for most of the photo shoot. So getting them in early is really handy. Uh, this little guy was uh, four weeks old, uh, but he was a charmer, he was super nice. And uh, I suppose the benefit to having a, a newborn shoot at four weeks old is um, when he was awake, he was actually quite expressive and alert and his eyes were gorgeous. So it was really nice to capture that. They brought in this, I'm not a very proppy newborn photographer these days, um, contrary to what my website shows. Again, it's all part of the rebrand. Um, but I, uh, I don't tend to use a lot of kind of gimmicks and props in my newborn photography anymore. It's pretty simple, like baby, great lighting and a background and that's it. Uh, but they brought this lovely little hand knitted um, hungry caterpillar kind of outfit. You, you see stuff like that all over the place, but it was really nice that this was hand knitted by uh, he was a family friend and it actually fit and it, it looked really cool. So uh, today I had uh, two viewings uh, from uh, some, some, some family shoots. Uh, one of the shoots was actually from last year, like the end of last year. That was really nice to see those guys again and see how their Christmas and New Year has gone. Um, and the second viewing was uh, the Boyd family. Uh, I, I mentioned in a, a video previously and if you check out my Instagram, um, I, uh, I, I, I posted a picture of um, one of their images, uh, which, which it was the photo shoot where uh, the dad came in and he got this like wicked stormtrooper outfit on, I'll, I'll include the image here. Um, but it was really nice, that was, so that was the viewing for their uh, photo shoot, so it was really nice to see those guys and, um, and show them their images. This was the third shoot in the um, Watch Me Grow package. Uh, that I do, which is basically newborn six months and one year, and uh, and what's really nice, and I, like I genuinely nearly cried when they uh, when they gave it to me. They gave me a present. They uh, presented me with like two boxes: this one and that one. Um, and uh, it's basically a CCTV camera setup, which <laughs> which sounds totally random. But uh, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a backstory behind this. Um, actually, my studio got burgled um, just over a year ago. Uh, we didn't have CCTV in the studio uh, at the time. Yeah, so the you know the people who burgled it you know ran off with about twelve grand's worth of camera equipment and you know kind of screwed me over. Uh, you know, obviously I was all insured and stuff, and that was cool. Um, but it was a bit of a, bit of a grim time for us. Uh, you know, as a, as a sort of you know semi new business to have. Pretty much all of your cameras. Well, in, it, like, literally, we had all of our cameras stolen. Uh, lenses. Uh, they left lights and stuff. But you know, 
Um, so that was a bit of a tough time and these guys were kind of, um, the, uh, you know, the Boyd family were kind of around for this and um, Adam, the dad, had mentioned uh, before that, um, that he'd kind of set up CCTV in the past and he'd got this cool setup and um, I'd said that I'd been quoted, you know, a lot of money, more money than I could afford at the time uh, to have CCTV put up in the in the studio. Uh, but anyway, um, they presented me with this like CCTV setup that you can put up yourself and uh, I'm just overwhelmed. What, a, what an incredibly generous thing for, for somebody to do for their photographer, you know? I'm sure this stuff was pretty expensive, but yeah, I'm just overwhelmed by the generosity. That's such a nice thing and uh, people can be so nice, you know? Um, yeah, so that was, that was a big deal for me, a really big deal. Uh, so Adam and uh, Naomi, thank you so much. You know, it really means a lot to me that you took the time to think about that and, you know, really humbling and really nice. Um, uh, last, uh, last time on the agenda was I had a really cool um, photo shoot this morning. Um, so that was a, a fun shoot with a, with a couple who live locally and they've got a, a, like a little one year old little girl who was really sweet and uh, that was a really fun shoot. We were running around after her all, all this morning and we got some really cool images. Yeah, it's been a full on week. It's been awesome. Uh, I, I'm really excited to, uh, I was really excited in the previous video to, um, uh, to show you, you know, the plans for the new year and the branding and that's going ahead really nicely. I'm really excited to start showing you some stuff from that and that'll be coming in future videos, I promise. I don't want to be doing like gear reviews. Gear reviews isn't really my thing. Um, I might be like mispromising that, but I want to do some videos on gear. I'm not like a gear head necessarily, but um, you know, I'm pretty passionate about um, film photography. Uh, you know, I, pre I predominantly shoot on the Fuji system and, and that's something that's perhaps worth talking about. Let me know if you want to see um, any specific videos on gear. I know you guys have been asking about a, um, a, a tour of the studio. I'm definitely going to do that sometime in the near future. So look out for that video. I'm going to leave you with a little time lapse of the photo shoot from this morning. The couple were great sports and, and they were okay with, with me um, doing a little time lapse video of the whole photo shoot. It's really interesting to see this actually. I mean, I've never been filmed in a photo shoot before. But yeah, that was fun to watch, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and like if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Liking and subscribing really helps out the channel and gets the, the, these videos out to more and more people. So uh, I really appreciate you stopping by and uh, leaving me some feedback. So I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend and uh, a great week and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.